Hello and welcome to this tutorial for DivisiMate 1.3. One of the new features that were introduced with the 1.3 update is the transposer scale lock. We already had a quick look at it in our What's New video, but in this video I want to have a closer look at it, explain all the details and explore the possibilities a bit further. There's a lot of creative potential in this feature and there's a lot of ground to cover, so let's get started. First of all, the transposer is a very simple plugin. You can route one or more voices to a port, insert a transposer and whatever node is routed to it will be transposed by the displayed number of steps up or down. If you route the low or melody range to the port using a transposer and you want notes in that range to remain untouched by the transposition, you can exclude them from the transposition here. But in every transposer you will now also find this lock to global scale button and that's where it gets really interesting. Let me demonstrate this with two flutes on one voice. One will remain at played pitch and the other one gets a transposer plugin. If you activate the scale lock in the transposer, the interface will expand and show a keyboard display and a couple of options. By default it will open up with a C major scale active. With the scale lock enabled, each of these steps up here represent one scale degree by which the incoming note is transposed. So if I set it to plus two and play a C on my keyboard, the transposer will move the note two scale degrees up to E. So now the flutes play a major third apart. But if I play a D, the resulting note in the first flute will be an F. So the two instruments are now only a minor third apart. That third will always adjust in accordance with the selected scales. So I can play agile lines in thirds and it will all stay in key. That kind of stuff would be pretty much impossible to play on the keyboard directly, but it's pretty common in orchestral arrangement. It gets very interesting once you start to build fuller chords with this. Let's build a larger chord below our melody line in flutes and clarinets. I set this transposer back to zero and copy it onto the four instruments and route the melody range to them. My goal is to still play only one melody line and have a four note chord in closed voicing lined up below that. In notation, this could look something like this. So the first flute I leave as is, the second flute gets minus two, first clarinet minus three, and second clarinet minus five. Now whatever melody I play, I'll get this chord, which could be either a sixth chord in first inversion or a seventh chord in second inversion. This is quite fun to play and has a nice old-timey jazz vibe. When I play notes from within the selected scale, all the chord notes will be part of that scale. In notation, the chords for the different scale notes look like this. When I play notes from outside the scale, something else happens. The transposer will take the voicing of the next higher scale note and transposes it down relative to the played pitch. This way, when I go from E flat, which is outside of the key, to E, all notes of the chords are shifting by a half tone up towards that scale note. This is of course not the ideal solution in all situations, but when you're playing with a fixed scale, this can give you inspiring and easily adjustable parts. This way you can play agile phrases with leading tones and chromatic embellishments and consistently get a solid result. I find this really fun to play around with and I hope you do too. But let's go to a different example that is a bit more on the film score side of things. Here I have a full orchestration with strings, woodwinds and brass forming a lush open triad chord on top of the plate note. So I essentially play a bass note for the chord and the transpositions create a chord from the selected scale on top of it. I don't want to go into too much detail how this is set up but you can download this exact preset under the link in the video description and check it out yourself. Here's what it sounds like. So 
So far we have not really looked at any of the new settings within the transposer, so let's do that now. You can select the root node for your scale here and then select from a number of scales we have prepared for you. The keyboard display on the bottom will show you the nodes of the current scale in blue. Note that the scale is a global setting. All the transposers with the scale lock enabled always lock to the same scale and all these settings are the same for them. So if I change the scale here, the scale also changes in the other transposers. You can also build your own custom scales by activating and deactivating nodes on the keyboard display. So you can build yourself an octatonic scale or something completely unusual and experiment with it. It is actually quite interesting to start out with a ready-made voicing and then changing the scale because the numbers in the transposers all stay the same. They just start to mean different things. So if I go in here and just add one note to the scale, it will turn the simple triads from before into quite an interesting dissonant chord. All this stuff is really great for experimentation. You will definitely end up at some interesting voicings and harmonies that you normally would not think of. But let's reset this to C major for now and look at the final button to talk about, which is the follow low option. This allows you to change the root note of the scale on the fly. When I activate this option and also activate the low range on the orchestrate page, notes I play within the low range will now change the root note of the global scale. This now allows me to modulate on the fly and borrow chords from other keys. Another interesting option for live performance and experimentation. When the root following is activated, there is also a slight change in processing when it comes to out-of-scale notes. Instead of a fully chromatic approach to the next higher voicing, the out-of-scale note will be harmonized with the closest notes from within the scale. This makes for a more interesting experience when you switch the root note while a chord is playing. I hope this video has been a helpful overview of the capabilities and new functions of the Transposer plugin. If you want to see more of this in action, make sure to subscribe to this channel and check out our other videos. We have a couple of live performance videos featuring the Transposer scale lock and we actually have shared orchestration breakdowns for them on our website, so check that out. But that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.